What's up, everybody? Chris Vanderschaft, Chris VTV on Instagram. Hollyland Tech sent me their Cosmo 600 wireless transmitter and receiver, and they wanted to know if I would do a demo video and let you know my first impressions. So that's what I'm doing. My opinions. No one's paying me to say anything specific. Let's uh, let's jump right in. This comes in a pretty sweet case. It's like a split level case. It's got your transmitter receiver up top. Then it's got all your other stuff, antennas, um, power adapters, plugins, and you know, everything you need on the bottom. So here's the receiver. Uh, it is made of metal. It's nice, it's not plastic. It, it feels strong and rugged. You've got your SDI in, your SDI loop out, HDMI, full size HDMI in. USB, which I'm assuming is probably like a firmware update kind of deal. This one has a Sony battery mount. Um, here's your DC in, which you can also uh, run like a PTAP cable if you want to power it that way. On off switch right here. Stereo in because you can actually send uh, audio mix with your video. Kind of a bummer that this one is plastic and not totally metal like the other one. Power adapter cable, a cool little like magic arm type of guy. USB cable, comes with PTAP cables. Another cool thing is that it comes with three antennas in case you lose one. So that's always kind of handy because you never know, sometimes you just lose stuff on shoots. And then you got your mushroom antennas, quarter 20 and 3 eighths on the bottom. So you can use whatever mounting that you want. One thing I was really surprised to see is there's virtually no delay. There might be like a very, very slight delay, but if there is, I didn't really notice it. When I did a signal distance test, I walked straight down the street, line of sight, and I got about 500 feet before the signal cut out. And when I walked out of my house around the corner with the receiver in the house, I only got about 100 feet. Um, that's because of all the different corners and rooms and going through walls and cement and all that. Things I like about the unit. The ports are flush with the housing, so nothing sticks out, that's nice. The battery lasted for about two hours. I used the Sony NP750, so it would last a lot longer if you used a P-TAP to like a larger battery. It can output HDMI and SDI at the same time to separate monitors, that's kind of nice, I didn't expect that. I didn't expect that it also had internal antennas for close range monitoring. I didn't run outside with them, uh, but I just walked around my house, you know, 15 feet away or so, and there was no issue at all. Things that I don't like or maybe a wish list, no battery life indicator on the unit, so you have no idea when it's gonna die except for the signal just starts going out. That's annoying, that would be really cool if they could add that feature. Does not support 4K input, that'd be really cool if in the future that it could. Um, maybe it can with other models. Overall, I thought it worked really well. It seems well built and reliable. It doesn't have every feature in the world. They have other models. Those probably have a lot more features. But the good thing about this is you just plug it in and it works. That's always a plus. Thanks again for checking it out, guys. Cosmo 600, if you have any questions, hit me in the comments below. I'll get back to them as soon as I can. I'll also put links to the products in the description so you can find them easily and uh, check these guys out. Hope you have a sick day and yeah. Probably the coolest shirt I have ever gotten from a trade show.